Hey guys, you know what can be found? Caves. TBR caves. So let's go dive in to what I'll be reading this month of April. And welcome to the middle of nowhere. So this month, I am participating in two readathons. Uh, one, I am a captain for the TBR Spelunkers in the Keymark Discord, uh, along with my the other captains of Tori, who leads the Beanie Barbarians, Derry, who leads the Stack Smashers, and Kayla, who is the Golden Bards. Unfortunately. By the time this video posts, all you can't join in with this, but I'm sure there'll be future readathons where you can join in and read with us, and love to see you there. I, I'll try to get you the information for how to join the Discord if you are interested in just coming to talk about books with us and joining in. But I am also participating in the Battle of the Bands that is put on by Jake and Stacy over at the Bookish Drummer, where you can read up to 20 books with teams as band names. That one is also closed, but I'm sure they'd love to see you and just talk about books and then you can join in for the next time. I also want to give a quick caveat about how I do my uh, TBR, MBR, whatever you want to call it. I do try to plan out my reads as much as I possibly can, but that does not mean that plans can change. So I might read these books, I will more than likely read these books, but there is the possibility that I swap them out for something else. It doesn't mean that I will not read these books. Um, if you are looking for a review of a certain book that you saw in my video and it's not up, chances are that I did not read it. I'll try it. When I do my wrap ups, which I'm planning on doing, I will let you know if I, how close I stuck to it and what my overall total is and what I actually read. With no more interesting facts, I guess. Let's take a look at what I'll be reading then. I'm going to start with my digital reads first as that will make it easier for me to hold up books at the end and be more excited. Uh, once again, uh, hopefully you have some sort of alarm set towards the end of this video so that you know when you can wake up. But the first book that I'm reading is, I'm going to go through the TBR Blitz books first, so that since that's what I'm captain of, and that way my team can see kind of what I have planned uh, in the digital reads. Uh, all three, or all four of my digital reads will count towards uh, the, read the TBR Blitz readathon. Uh, not all of my physicals, only one of them am I planning on counting towards that one. Uh, the rest will be for the Battle of the Bands. Uh, mainly because I do have some arcs and stuff that I need to get through. But once again, I might swap a mint here and out because I go into my books pretty blind. I don't like to be know too much about them, just a general gist. Um, so it might not fit the prompt as much as I think, and so then I'll have to move things around accordingly. But starting off, I am going to be re starting the month out with The Last of the Renshai by Mickey Zucker Reichert. Uh, this book came out in the 90s. It's a little bit older, loosely based on Norse mythology. I can say that I am currently reading it because by at the time of this filming, April's already underway, and uh, so I've already got a head start into this book. Um, it's not heavy on the Norse mythology. It uses some of the gods and stuff that way, but the sword fights in it so far have been pretty spectac spectacular. I've been meaning to read this for a long time. I was gifted the second trilogy that follows the, uh, this one. This is book one in the, the Renshai trilogy. Um, and so I picked it up so that I could read it and figure out what was going on instead of starting on in the middle, which I have done in the past but decided to go back and read book one for this one. So really looking forward to it. Like I said, the action scenes and the fights, especially the sword fights, have been really incredible and a lot of fun to read. 
Next book is what I got from NetGalley. It used to be an indie published, but I'll be reading the new traditionally published of Combat Codes by Alexander Darwin. I've, I know Bo, I'm sure all of you guys know who Bo is. He's fantastic, the tech guru that makes everything tick behind the scenes and much appreciation to him. Uh, I know he just recently read it and has been clamoring that I, I should read it and that he loves it. Uh, so I'm really excited to get to that one. I know it has a martial arts feel. I know it's not too fantasy. I think it's more sci-fi related. Once again, I haven't looked too much into it. I just read a brief, I didn't even read the whole blurb, uh, just a little bit and I was like, oh, that sounds interesting and threw it on my TBR. I'm really bad about that. Uh, but I am excited to get to that one um, and we'll be reading the digital ARC format that was provided to me by NetGalley. Another ARC that I've received was one provided by the author and actually the book came out April 4th uh, through Bain Publishing. It's called Wraithbound, which is just, it looks amazing. Like as you can, I'll post a picture of this cover so you guys can see it, but I saw this and I was, I didn't, I honestly don't know much about what the book is. I just saw the cover and was blown away and I was like, all right, I want to read that. It looks epic. It looks amazing. Let's get it done. Uh, fortunately, the author was able to provide me a copy of this in a fit, in an ebook format. And so I'm really anxious to pick it up and see, find out what the story of this cover is, like what's going on. Like I instantly got Balrog kind of feel to it, like that sort of epic proportion in that fight. And I immediately pictured the movie fighting Gandalf. Uh, I'm sure that's not what's happening, but I love fighting giant monsters like that. The other one is another, it's an actually, I'll actually be doing it in an audio format, which is Revenge, which is War Height Book 2 by AC Cobble. I was fortunate enough to get a book from AC Cobble of Book 1 and really enjoyed it. it the series starts out with the king has died and it's all in, kind of in turmoil and the, all the countries don't really know what to do and there, so there's all this political unrest and they're trying to take over since the, this line of kings that has ruled for years and generations and centuries has suddenly ended and they don't know what to do and so there's people that are trying to take over it, they're, the military is trying to protect what's been going on. And it gets really interesting, a lot of intrigue, a lot of backstabbing. Um, and we were left kind of in the middle of a party at the end of book one. Like it, it ends satisfactorily uh, and accordingly, but it leads up to a lot in book two. So I was really excited to get my hands on this one uh, so that I can find out the continuation of the story to find out what's gonna go on. And so I'm very appreciative to him for providing me that copy as well. Uh, so that I can get a review up on it and see see where he's going with this story, which is really interesting and entertaining. If you haven't read that, checked out that series. I highly recommend it. it. has dragon riders, has pirates, and once again, especially for political backstabbing, top notch. That should be all of my digital reads. So I think I'm up to four. I do have quite the ambitious pile going on this time since... I am participating in two readathons. I'm not gonna put as many books as they want me to read up here. Um, I don't think I can get to the full 20, but I'm the the Battle of the Bands has. So I selected some books and I'm gonna give it my best to get through all of them that I've selected. Some of these might be more if I have time type reads. Uh, so Let's get to my physical reads. The first one that I'm going to show you is uh, part of my buddy read that I read with my a group of friends, uh, Aunt, Eddie, Chad, and Grant, and Maggie. Uh, but we did a poll and Aunt's picked one out for this month. So we are reading The Age of Ash by Daniel Abraham. I uh, really intrigued to read this one. I know it all takes place in one city. I know it's a very large city um, and that it's the tale of a girl, uh, something going on. Once again, I don't know a whole lot about it. I know he was the author, of, a co-author of The Expanse, um, but this one sounded really interesting, kind of a darker s style, but I was really intrigued of a, a fantasy story just taking place in one city and not going 
from country to country or city to city and this whole world type thing and that it all happens in one year over the course of the trilogy so this is the first of it so we're supposed to get through a third of that of that year and we'll see uh how it ends up but really looking forward to it i know this one we don't we all wait until everybody's read it and we talk about it and then post our review, reviews all together on the 15th if you are interested in joining us for the buddy reads we do welcome everybody uh, just let us know and we'll see if we can get you fit in to, for the next month. The next book I have on my list is actually non-fantasy or sci-fi. Uh, and it was a pull pick since I need to do that for the bookish drummer. And the Beatles it has a pull pick so I put it up there. And this was the one that was voted to be read for the month. And it is actually The Terminal List by Jack Carr. I know that they recently made a show on Amazon about it. And so I'm really interested. I was really intrigued to watch that show, but I wanted to read the book before I ever saw an episode because if you saw the first episode where I talked about the born identity, I've been burned before. So I like to know the source material before I go into any type of movie or show, at least the first book, uh, so that I have an idea of what the author really intended with those characters. I know it's supposed to be kind of like the Punisher of he kind of loses everything and then goes on a rampage of revenge. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, seeing should go pretty quick. Uh, generally when I read thrillers, it's only a day or two read. So it should get through it pretty fast, but I'm really excited to find out what the tale of revenge will be. The next one is another thriller and it's actually more of a detective uh, serial killer type mystery and that would be book three in the Robert Hunter series by Chris Carter uh, the Night Stalker uh, these are fantastic uh, you get a side of the enemy of the of the killer I guess so you don't know who it is but you get some viewpoints from them and you find out a little bit more about their backstories than what you would typically get in other stories of in this genre which is really interesting to see. It doesn't really excuse what they're doing, but you understand a little bit more why they're doing it. And I've really found them fascinating. Uh, the first one I was able to pick out who it was pretty quick, kind of knew what was going on, but the second one blew me away. And I'm really excited to jump into the third one. Uh, they are pretty brutal, pretty bloody, uh, but I'm really excited to go, go with this one. And the next book that I'm going to raise up is provided by the author. It's an ARC copy. I was really excited to read book one. And that is The Children of the Black Moon by Joseph John Lee. That cover is amazing. I know it was done by Felix Ortiz. Uh, it really goes well with the theme. Uh, this is book two in The Spellbinders and the Gunslingers. I really was enthralled by book one. I, it's kind of tells you the story of tribes as they're being taken over by technology and people that are more advanced in that thing, but they have magic on their side and they're it's, this one should get to a lot more of the battle of the Island that they live on and how it happens. It's really cool because you see that like it's flashbacks almost, but you also get these points of the present of what's going on and yeah. It's hard to explain. It would take a long time. I'll probably do a review. When I do a review for this book, I'll give you a video review and I'll talk a lot about book one and kind of line out my thoughts a little bit more. But it's really interesting. Uh, those that are true diehard fantasy fans might not care for it as it does have a touch. It's more like the industrial age type thing. So there's boats and factories going up and that type of thing. Uh, but it's really interesting, really excited to jump back into it, and I'm very grateful for uh, to receive this copy and continue my my trek through what what happens with these tribes. The next one, I got an updated copy from the author as well. Uh, really excited to jump into it. I know it's it was listed as a spy fi thriller, and I was like, I that sounds right up my alley. And that is 
Stellar in Instinct by Jonathan Never. I've heard really great things. I've never actually read the author, but I know he has another trilogy out that's hard sci-fi. Uh, this one's supposed to be on the lighter side, uh, but really interesting take on it. I love the new cover, especially like it looks intense. You got the spaceships down here at the bottom, You've got this planet over here. Like it looks really cool. I'm really interested to see what spies in space could do. Um, and I think it's an interesting take and might look into more of that type of read going forward. The next one that I'm planning on reading, this is one I might read for the TBR Blitz readathon, not just the Battle of the Bands. So I mixed up some of my reads, but that's okay. Uh, but that is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Yes, I know it's surprising I haven't read it yet. It's one of those where I've heard both sides. I'm scared about what side I'll land on and I don't want to have it ruined. But I think it's time that I jump into it, find out what, what all the hype is on this one. I Several people that kind of know my taste say that I'll love it. Um, so I'm looking forward to see, see what my thoughts are. Uh, the other two that I'm going to hold up are if I get through all my reads there, then I do want to jump into these and start a new series and continue another one. And we're going to go back to sci-fi. This is Those Once Forgotten by N.C. Scrimgore. Book one was amazing. This is book two in the Waystation trilogy. The purple's really cool on it. Uh, but it took everything that I loved of from so many sci-fi elements and mashed it all into one. Like there was suspense, there was space battles, there was fighting, monsters, different species. It was really cool. and. I'm really excited to find out what's going to happen, especially with how it ended. It built up a lot of the mystery of where these way stations came from. So I'm looking forward to seeing where, where we go from there. And the last one is, I've seen it around. I, I like my mysteries and things, and it's kind of an urban fantasy style telling, but that's The Last Smile in Sunder City by Luke Arnold. I picked this one up on a whim. I, it's actually a library copy. I was just walking through with my kids, uh, picking out library books. Uh, but this is one that I'm kind of interested in. I enjoyed the TV show that he was in. I know that has nothing to do with it, but I am, I've heard good things. And so when I saw it available, I grabbed it and we'll see if I make it to it. Otherwise, so I'll check it out again next time. Pretty ambitious. Uh, we'll see how far I make it. The readathons tend to, I am extremely competitive. I Last time I did it, I read a lot more books than I thought that I could possibly do. So I made a pretty big pile this time, hoping to kind of kickstart, do the same type of thing, get those, get those reading juices going. Um, but we'll see. I'm really excited for the reads I have. Uh, but once again, uh, those are the books. I can't promise to stick to it. I more than likely will read the majority of the ones that I've held up, but I might switch them out. Uh, but we'll see where we go from there. But that's what I've got for you today, guys. Thanks for checking it out. Hopefully you find some good reads. Let me know what you guys are reading. And thanks for joining me here in the middle of nowhere. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Happy reading and stay great.